Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, July 17th, 2012. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 51. Uh, one week away from my one year anniversary of Talk To Me Tuesdays. And I have to make this super fast because my camera is about ready to croak and die. He is just sucking all the life out of everything. So, thanks to everybody who wished me to get well. I am still working on it. I just had a coughing fit a few minutes ago, so hopefully I'm over it and can get through this. Adventures in Paper Piecing. I purchased Ofen Jen's latest pattern, A Friendly Game. Deals with chess pieces. I have chosen to do five different pieces um, to represent myself and my four kids. I allowed them to choose the fabrics that they wanted for their chess pieces. And I still have to do the side pieces on these to make them into the five and a half inch blocks, but the main piece is done. So this is the queen, which represents myself. And then my oldest one chose an orange tie-dye for his. My daughter chose this fabric from her stash. And I believe that came from Clumsy Cord. My second son chose this purple. And my third son chose this blue swirly. Um, I'm going to do a wall hanging. I'm not sure how I'm going to put it together, but I have a pretty good idea. But that'll have to wait. Hopefully, I'll be able to suffer through the heat to get it done. Or at least close to it. Um, crocheting news. Not too much of that. We were at the local thrift store and I ran across some a small baggie of knitting notions. There was mitten shaped needle protectors. There were some stitch markers. There was some yarn holders. And then there were two of these cardboard um, row counters. And this is one of them. This is the small one and there was a big one. And I decided because I use a lot of double pointed needles that I would turn it into a bracelet so I can actually wear it around my wrist and as I'm working I can just spin the little dial and boom count my rows. The only other thing I did was this. This is a little crocheted heart that's done on the pop tabs from soda cans and the woman who did this turned it into a key ring. So I haven't. I just this was just to try it out, but thought that was cute. <coughs> and of course, I'll put the link to the the tutorial in the description below for that. Give me half a second. I have a cough drop in my mouth trying to keep from coughing here. So, craft-wise, that's about it. Um, haven't gotten to any videos. It's been too hot, and the way I was feeling last week, I just couldn't concentrate. So, once this heat goes away, and I'm feeling 100% better, then I can get more done. Since next week is my one-year anniversary, I decided I am going to do a small giveaway. Not anything major, major, but something small. But of course, there are going to be rules for entry. The number one rule is that you have had to have been a subscriber to my YouTube channel at least two weeks prior to this announcement. So, if you're not already on my list of subscribers, I'm sorry to say, you're not going to be able to enter the contest this time. Wouldn't it be fair to all those who sit here and watch my mug do these videos every week for you to just pop in all of a sudden and say, Oh, I want to be a subscriber so I can enter. Sorry. So, or you have to be a member of TTMT. So, that's the number one rule. A subscriber to my channel no less than two weeks prior to today or a member of TTMT. Now, to gain an entry into the contest, you are going to have three questions you're going to have to answer. 
I would like a video response, but I'm not making it mandatory as I know some of my subscribers do not do videos. But if you do videos, I'd appreciate seeing your mug do a response video to this. But like I said, it's not mandatory. So, here are the three questions. Question number one. Who and or what inspired you to learn how to craft? Could be a person. It could be something you saw. Could be both. So, question number one. Who and or what inspired you to learn to craft? Question number two. What was the first craft you ever learned? Was it crocheting, knitting, sewing, quilting? I'm sure Ophen Jen, you were born quilting. So, <laughs> I don't know. She's so good at it. She must have been. Or she did it in a past life. But what was the first craft? And I don't want paper and paste. Okay. Paper piecing is okay, but not paper and paste. And the third question, who is it that taught you how to do your first craft? Was it your mother? Was it a friend? Was it your grandmother? Did you learn it on your own? So, those are your three questions. Who and or what inspired you to craft? What was the first craft you learned? And who taught you? your first craft. Simple. Now, here's a little more of a challenge, especially for my subscribers who are not yet paper piecers. If you want a second chance at entry, I want you to try paper paste piecing. Um, I will send you the link to the pattern that Elf and Jen first suggested for me, and that was this heart along with the link to her tutorial. I want to see mistakes as well as I want to see anyone who tries and tries again. I showed you my mistake and I didn't give up. So, second chance of entry, try to do a paper piece. And for those of my subscribers who don't do videos, if you want to just send pictures, I'm not sure how that works, but if necessary, private message me, and I will send you my email address, or I can send you my Flickr. I don't know. I'll have to ask Open Jen about that. But yeah, email me, and I'll let you know how to do it. And for those of you who are seasoned paper piecers, and you'd like a chance at a second entry into the contest, make a block any block that has some type of representation for the person who taught you to do how to do your first craft whether the person liked gardening or whether the person liked reading or whether they had like a crazy personality or just whatever block has a representation of some sort even a memory something that you used to do aside from just crafting and that will get you a second chance. So, for my unexperienced paper piecers who have never tried it, your challenge is to try to new, do the heart pattern that I will link down below. And for my seasoned paper piecers, just whatever block you can think of that's a representation of the person who taught you your first craft. And just a brief description of, you know, what the square, the block represents. So, other than that, I'm going to get my mug off of here. I want to get this uploaded as fast as possible. So, that's it. Everything in the description below. And other than that, I look forward to watching everyone's videos. I do watch them. I just haven't felt, you know, I'll probably watch them again because I know coughing I missed a lot. So, but... I will wish everyone a wonderfully crafty week, a wonderfully crafty weekend. You have two weeks for the contest, so take your time, don't rush. And for me, it's going to be good night. For you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I hope it's a great one. I'll see you all next week, and remember, two weeks. Bye.